Hello and welcome. Decision theory, decision making under uncertainty without use of probability. And now we are going to discuss the third approach, third principle that is Horwich or Horwick or Horwish principle. Now I leave it to you how to pronounce it. Horwick or Horwich or Horwish principle. That is actually a compromise between the optimistic approach, the maximax principle and the optimistic approach, the maximin principle. It is suggested to take a balance between them, neither to select the maximum of the minimum nor to select the maximum of the maximum directly. But according to the say approach of the decision maker to make some balance. How to make some balance? By using alpha that is the coefficient of optimism. If the total of the probabilities of a decision maker being optimistic and pessimistic is 1 then alpha is the probability or rather subjective probability of the decision maker being optimistic. So its value is always between 0 and 1. If the decision maker is not at all optimistic then the value of alpha for him is 0. This is subjective probability. Indirectly, we are going to use the probability, but this probability is totally subjective for the particular decision maker. It is not at all based on any past records. It is not calculated with the help of any frequency distribution or any selection. That's why it is subjective. The value of alpha changes if the, if the decision maker is changed for the particular decision. So it is subjective. Now in this particular case we need to take alpha as 0.4. That means there are the decision maker is approximately 40% optimistic and that means 60% pessimistic. Now what is the exact procedure of arriving at the final conclusion? In the first step we need to apply this formula. According to this formula, alpha is multiplied by the maximum payoff of an action. And then, minimum payoff of the same action is multiplied by 1 minus alpha. And the two results are added and a final amount is obtained. And then, in the second step, we need to compare such final amounts of all the actions and in the last step, we need to select the action or alternative with the highest such amount. Let's do it for this case. There are three actions A1, A2, A3. So first of all for A1, it will be alpha 0.4 into maximum payoff 18. Plus 1 minus alpha means 1 minus 0.4 means 0.6 into the minimum payoff 12. So it is 0 0.4 into 18, 7.2 plus 0 0.6 into 20, 12, 7.2, ultimately it is 14.4. This is somewhat like expected value, x into p of x. But here the probability is subjective. If x is the decision maker, alpha can be 0 0.4. If y becomes the decision maker, in same case, alpha can be different according to y. If z becomes the decision maker, alpha can again be the different. A2, alpha 0.4 into the highest or maximum payoff, 32. Plus 1 minus alpha 0.6 into minimum, 10. 12.8 plus 6, 18.8 and A3, the large sized factory, alpha 0.4 into the maximum payoff 40 
plus 1 minus alpha 0.6 into the minimum payoff 8 0.4 into 40 16 plus 0.6 into 8 4.8 that is 20.8 let's check them 0 0.4 into 18 7.2 plus 0 0.6 into 12 7.2 14.4 0 0.4 into 32 12.8 plus 0 0.6 into 10 6 12 plus 6 18.8 0.4 into 40, 16, 0.6 into 8, 4.8, 16 plus 4.8, 20.8. This was the first step. Applying this formula, we calculated the expected payoff. Now, to arrive at the conclusion, select the highest expected payoff among all these. 20.8 is the highest. And the corresponding action is A3. A3 means to create large sized factory. So, the company should go for starting a large size factory at the new location. So, this was Horvick or Horvish or Horvich principle where we need to use the alpha that is subjective probability that is also known as coefficient of optimism and this is the formula to be used to calculate the expected payoff of all the actions and ultimately at the end we need to select the action with the highest such expected payoff. That's it. Thank you very much.